In this example, we'll translate some set notation into everyday words. The first case, we've got omega not t. Well, the first thing we've got to work out what omega is. That's our universal set. In this case, we have students at UQ. So that's our omega. So students at UQ who do not play tennis will be a reasonable interpretation of number one. Our second case, we've got F intersection B, or F and B. F, it's female students. B, biology students. So we have female students and biology students. Or we might say female UQ students who study biology. Number three, B union E. So B is biology students again. E is economic students. So we have biology students or economic students. Again, in everyday language, we would say UQ students who study biology or economics. And lastly, we have F not E or B. Do we have F as female UQ students? Not, who are not economic students or biology students.